Hi everyone, I got a question from a viewer that what is input buffering in compiler design. So today I'm gonna explain what is input buffering. So before moving into input buffering, let us know what is a buffer. A buffer contains data that is stored for a short amount of time, typically in the RAM. The purpose of a buffer is to hold data right before it is used. So this typically means that if a process or if something needs to be processed, then before going straight into the processor, it gets into the buffer and then it is passed to the processor. So this technique is known as buffering and for the compilers, the lexical analyzer uses this input buffering to check the stream of characters in the source code using the buffering method. For this video, I'm going to make only this input buffering using one buffer. There is another concept input, input buffering using two buffers, which will be all of it would be same just the difference is that here we can use only short lines of codes there you can use long line of codes that's it but the working is same all the features are same so we have a single input like e equals to m star c star star 2 and then we get the eof that is end of file here it's end of line this eof is also known as the sentinels it reflects that the input stream is now empty or all the elements are scanned please send the next line now let us check the working of it it has two pointers one is the lexeme begin pointer and another one is the forward pointer this lexeme begin pointer and forward pointers are used to identify each lexeme one by one so i am explaining this example you will get to know all about it First, the lexeme begin pointer points to the first element and the forward pointer also points to the same element at the beginning and we get to know that E is the first character. Now it isn't mandatory that each identifier, operator or keyword needs to be single digit. So it has multi digits. So it would be like E, L, S, E if required, but it's not. It's now E. So the lexeme begin will be in the E and the forward pointer will move to the next input symbol which is this equal to. After we encounter the equal to or a space or some other character which isn't applicable to a identifier or variable then we get to know that, that this E is a single lexeme. So then what does the lexical analyzer do? It checks the symbol table that if there is this E present or not. If it is present then what is the attribute of it and if it's not then it sends it and registers it into the symbol table for further use. Now as we have concluded that E is a single lexeme then now the lexeme begin pointer shifts to this equals to. Now this equals to is the lexeme begin pointer and also the forward pointer is also here because previously it was there so we need to check for this one also like this is an equal to we know that this is an operator it can be less than equal to it can be greater than equal to it can be not equals to it can be for checking like the double equals to so we need to check the next character too for us it is m so this forward pointer goes to this m and tells that this equal to and this m are not a single lexeme so we conclude that this equal to is a separate lexeme similarly it goes for all characters let me explain this double star because see after getting the c in the symbol table the lexeme begin pointer points to this star and the forward would be also at this star here only it's the forward pointer after checking this star, we need to check that what is after this. Is this star equals to star star or what is that? That's why the forward pointer goes to this now and checks are both of them making sense. Like the double star is an operator. So it's the square operator. So it makes sense. So now the forward pointer is here. So we know that double star is allowed. So what if the next character is double star equal to? So or some other thing. So we need to check that too. So the forward pointer then gets to this position. And now we see that the double star and here it is 2. So it isn't making any meaning. So we conclude this double star as a single lexeme.
and after same process goes on for two we get to the EOF once we get to the EOF the input buffer is now completely scanned this EOF is just for reference that this is the last box up to which we can enter the values in here but for us it ends here so this EOF when in when encountered by the Lexeme begin or the forward pointer we get to know that this line has been completely analyzed so send the next line so that's all for input buffering guys thank you and do watch me all other videos thank you